Hey everybody, this is Garth Brooks, a.k.a. Mr. Yearwood, and you're watching The Strip Live. <laughs> we met earlier, yes. How are you doing? Well, you look beautiful. As well. Oh, thank you. I love the hat. Yeah. You know, you with? so do you remember my husband, Ray? Hey, Ray, good to see you. Going on 18 yeah. years, a couple weeks. Right Jealous. 24-7, just like you and nice. Miss Yearwood. So, uh, you know, we're talking to Miss Yearwood. So what's it like working with your husband all the time? <laughs> it is the most awesome thing ever, just like you. Oh, now, see, women, you could learn. Women, you could learn from. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, you guys have such a genuine, just true love relationship. And I want to know, how is it, what is it like collaborating with your wife? Because... You know, let's let's be honest here. Sometimes when you're putting on a big production or a business, sure. there's you know you have some ideas, she has some ideas. How, who, who ends up breaking the tie? In other words, well, let, let's not let's not just talk about husband and wife, but let's talk about husband and wife being in the same profession. Absolutely. Now you both have opinions of this profession that might not match with each other. That's that's us, and you just um, respect is always the key to any argument respect respect you know, uh, but yeah, there are going to be some things that she says that before I can. Where I can ask my smart side, I'll go, are you kidding? And then that's when it all starts. And it's like, so yeah, we're like any husband and wife, we're going to have our differences. Uh, but what I love about her is you might be arguing, but a day later or something, she'll recall something out of that argument. So I've been thinking about that. That makes her a lot better person than me. But that's so, so she's, she's got a good, she's got a good heart in her. And it's like that movie about that guy that kept going back in time trying to give that speech at his son's wedding when he finally goes, marry someone who's kind. And that, that describes her. So any argument, everything we do, it's still kind. And because uh, that's the kind of person she is. So it makes it easy. It makes it fun. Well, you know, I've been claiming as the Oprah of Las Vegas here yes. for years. <laughs> and I, you know, you know, there are days like this where I feel like, oh, I'm just at that tipping point. It's coming true because I'm standing here, you know, with Garth Brooks. Um, what did you do to know that this was your path, and how did you keep the faith and to know that it will all happen? Oh, that would make me very smart if I knew it. But uh, I think Rascal Flatts has a great song called uh, God Bless the Broken Road That Led Me Straight to You. I think what you have to do, and we teach this at these kids' camps, there's winning and there's losing, and you're going to need both. You just are, because you can't, you can't appreciate one without the other. And what you'll probably learn from most, unfortunately, are a lot of times when you lose. So I think a lot of times when doors shut, you think that shouldn't have done it. But then another one opens where you go, oh, thank you. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. So I think that's it. I think you just got to have faith that, that things are going to work out the best that they can. You push as hard as you can, do your thing. But when that rope runs out, it doesn't mean it's the end. It might mean that there's a new beginning somewhere else. Thank you very much. You're so sweet. I'm so excited about tonight. Congratulations. Great Thank date you night. So much.